Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Troll and Toad, once again in the news for canceling a order. A person ordered 8 copies of Protein Hulk. Now let me begin by saying 8 copies is a lot and this is probably a speculation order. But that doesn't mean Troll and Toad should not send something where they have listed the price. Yes, this price was low given the fact it was unbanned, but Trone Toad being a store with employees who know magic should predict or should have some type of limitation and the smart stores in Houston like Strike Zone Online, they have a limitation where you cannot buy more than four of any card and that's to prevent people from buying eight copies of Hulk. From the store perspective, many stores are just about breaking even but your reputation is far more valuable than a few magic dollars quotation the store is willing to have a bad pr try to get away with it to make some extra money it's not just this extra money it's also the fact that if they can sell copies of Hulk, it is likely a person will buy Flash, it is likely a person will buy maybe half a deck. Because with an unbanning, people want to try new stuff. And if you're a store with a very good price on Hulk, and you limit your copies to one a piece, you are actually selling probably a lot more and making more profit margin that way. Let's just put that aside. Why is this practice so common? And why do I feel stores should know better it is very common because stores sometimes are break even at best many times they are in the red so for them having extra money is worth the risk uh, the scenario here is if the person does not report it on reddit which happens many times this probably pre-orders get canceled all the time but very few of them get a reddit presence now when reddit gets involved you can go on Reddit, you can read the comments. They are very, very aggressive. Trone Toad has been caught, I guess, doing this before. And they, at, in the past, they resolved the issue. However, now people with any grievance against Trone Toad can, pitch up, can pick up their pitchforks and go to town on them. And that's what's happening on both the main Reddit as well as the MTG Finance Reddit. That's why you always ship the card. You never hold the card, you always ship it. If you promise someone the card is $2 and that person ordered, that person's probably feeling really good about him or herself. So you have to ship the card. That's how you get customers, you have to deliver. I agree, it is a very you can tell what's happening here. The guy bought eight copies. They said that they're missing seven copies. They will send you one copy probably for ED8s, for his ED8s deck. But the guy wants eight copies and he deserves eight copies because that's his receipt. On Amazon, if you bought a video game, it's not like, oh, okay, the price has gone up. The person still has to send it to you. Now, when you buy directly from Troll and Toad, you don't have the TCG player protection. TCG player makes sure that there's some type of punishment for stores that do this, therefore altering behavior. But buying directly sometimes is not anything like that. It is up to Troll and Toad as a business, as someone who's been in the card industry for seven, seven plus years, to realize hey, we have suffered many bad PRs over this tactic, we should not continue. We should just deliver it and eat up the quote unquote cost. But time and time again, they make the same mistake and they give social media a reason just to hate them out. And that is what is currently happening here. If you are just a regular person and you saw this post or this post, which uh, Trone Toad remedied the situation and this post alerted management who I can only say is pleasant and to, to deal with and competent will order again. It This has 443 comments, over 1700 upvotes probably at this time, uh, 11 months ago, 11 months, 
maybe 50,000 people have watched this post. Now you have a new post and the new post references this old post and never actually leaves. So it is kind of crazy. Um, it is that someone would not learn from this mistake having made it just 11 months ago and having just such massive backlash. No matter what you believe, you have to send the cards out. If you list something for $2 and someone buys it for $2, even if they buy eight copies of it, you have to send it out for $2. You cannot relist it. You cannot say that you do not do not have it if you do because that tells me you may engage in other shady-like behavior. Maybe you sell your FNM promos. Maybe you sell your boxes early. Maybe you sell pre-lease kits. Maybe you have favoritism in FNM in terms of buy. This is a honesty, right? It is where you can tell if someone's being honest or not. And because they are not honest in this situation, it is somewhat likely that in other circumstances, they may not be honest. And when you buy from them, you now you're reading the post, and I'm reading a lot of posts where they say that they downgrade cards that they're buy listing, and they send cards that are not in good conditions. They send cards without really good protection. That's what it is. It's not just the fact that they didn't send the cards is the fact that they were dishonest about the situation and you might not be able to trust them in future dealings or if you are a local there, you may not be able to trust them in terms of their tournament organization or their payouts or even if they're selling your prize box early because they're not honest. I want to end by saying I, I understand that most local game stores do not make money. Uh, the local game store I help with the accounting loses money every month. Uh, they paid all their employees. They make sure all, their, all the employees are paid. And the owner, he doesn't work that often. He has another full-time job, which pays quite well. But he doesn't pay himself, and he just takes it as a hobby. Overall, it is a tough industry to be in. But it's an industry that if you're honest, you deliver. Uh, one of the things I can always say about pre-orders and one of the reasons I never did do them is if you got a really good deal, they will cancel it. It is likely they will cancel your pre-order unless it's from a very or a website with a great reputation and that values that. Now, if you got a bad deal, hey, they already took your money. It's a pre-order, right? So it's a win-win for the store. At the very end of the day, the stores should know by now that if a card is unbanned and they do not have a protection against selling their entire stock, their entire stock would be bought by somebody, by one person. It is unlikely that multiple people will buy the Hulk. It is likely that the first person who sees a good price will buy all of that one card unless you have the protection that something like Strike Zone Online has, with, which limits you to four cards of... It's four... I think it's four of any rare and mythic, but you can buy like X amount of any uncommon and common. I haven't purchased online in a while. Unless you have that type of protection in, that's on you. That's a very easy line of code that you can, or it's a very easy thing to add. If you don't have that line of protection, then you do need to deliver the card. If you do not deliver the card, what will happen is you will get absolutely wrecked on, on some type of social media. Yes, the guy does not need eight hoax, but yes, you need to send him eight hoax. That's the conclusion. Anyways, leave me a comment below of how you feel. I would love to get some store owners feedback on this and why it happens so often. Every single time we have a card being unbanned, this happens. And Trone Toad just so happens to be the person who did it this time. But I know when Modern Masters 2017 was happening, and people were canceling pre-orders, many stores were doing it. And that is something that we should look into because if a store is willing to do that to save a few dollars, they're willing to sell FNM promos, they are willing to sell prize packs, prize boxes, and they are willing to do things that you would not want as a customer. Anyway, that's it guys. Leave me a comment below.
Bye, guys.